I think the next uh, next few days, I think, will be a bit um, uh, choppy. Uh, it has sort of uh, strengthened slightly against the dollar, but I think a lot of uh, uh, what's happened overnight has been largely a dollar sort of story with uh, with the FOMC. My sense is, I think, politically, um, the relationship between Turkey and US will be at the forefront, uh, especially with the defense missile system uh, sort of purchased by Turkey. Uh, and I think with uh, the Trump administration uh, highlighting the considering three sort of um, uh, sanctioned sort of uh, packages, uh, looking at possibly companies, Turkish companies, uh, being uh, sort of sanctioned somewhat uh, and access into US financial institution uh, services would be a, a major blow, I think, to uh, if, if it actually is uh, implemented from the US side of things. So those uh, sort of uh, concerns may raise, uh, continue to continue to support the dollar lira upwards, uh, in my view. Also wanted to ask you about your outlook for USD now, because what you've done essentially here is reiterate your call for USD weakness in the aftermath of the Fed decision. But what do you think would be the catalyst for further downside pressure from this point on for the USD? Because obviously this would be positive EM equities as well, and that's something that yes. investors are looking out at. I think the eventual move would be uh, the, the exact implementation of a Fed uh, uh, cut, which as early as July could be a possibility, uh, uh, but I think it will be priced into in, in some cases as well. But uh, my, my sense is the play is probably uh, a, a US dollar against uh, currencies or countries which are still uh, in, the, in, in the spectrum uh, a, a bit way off uh, uh, an easing sort of cycle. So I think in terms of Swiss franc, uh, in terms of yen, would be some of the plays against the dollar in, in my view. Um, and to some extent, Kiwi, because I think we're seeing uh, the New Zealand data of, of first quarter GDP coming out a bit more positive on that front. So countries with uh, strong domestic economies, uh, strong uh, close domestic uh, consumption, uh, and also some signs of positive uh, growth uh, in some of those countries would actually play a bit but my sense is I think Swiss franc yen uh, would be positive uh, uh, relative to the dollar in the short term, in the interim, uh, in, in this transition sort of period. Top. Hey, everybody. It's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.